Um, you know, it was a great opportunity to be here. You know, I got us some shots um, earlier and just, you know, preparing it just for the whole week and the whole workouts that I'm doing. How many do you have scheduled? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I think around like four more, four or five more. But um, just just those, you know, just a lot coming up to draft day. So it's, it's great expectation. I'm trying to work to get in the best situation. That's when you played at Brewster. Yes, sir. Uh, do you feel like you have to maybe show maybe more than some of the guys who played uh, college last year? Absolutely. I always feel like I have to show even more, even though I'm the youngest. Um, just still being 18, you know, it's just a great accomplishment playing with guys that are 22, 23, even 20. So just playing against these guys and learning the physicality and just learning different things is a great opportunity. What do you think you're going to NBA team or what are you hoping to do? Um, just energy and everything, that they, anything they need me to do, everything, anything. So I, I set a lot of charges, you know, I'm encouraging, score the basketball. Um, I pass the ball pretty well, so I'm just trying to have an overall game so a coach can put me in any position. What did you think you were ready to come out um, I, I didn't. I just knew after my um, I won a national championship, I felt like my passion for the game got really good, and then my work effort got to a point where I felt like I can compete at any level. So I decided that and talked to my family and felt it was the best situation. Where did the baby Westbrook thing come from? <laughs> um, I always said that he was my favorite player, and um, I really like his game, and just him being just so passionate. I just I liked I liked that about him, and then just my bounce and just my aggression to the rim. Who started calling you that? Um, media from Slam, then Baller's Life, then it just got around baby Westbrook. So. Mm -hmm. you, have you met him? I mean, he had... um, I saw him before, but you know, um, you know, he liked a couple videos here and there, but you know, not too of a fanboy. Like I'm not going fanboy him. I still, he's still a person. So, so this process you played the combine as well. How, mm -hmm. how it's a long process and for a lot of you Definitely. guys. Like, what, what's kind of the toll it takes on you? Kind of, how do you, how do you keep going, grinding through this process? You know, just coming from Brewster, like all these guys, you know, they had the preseason with college and all that stuff. I just came straight from high school, so we was working out probably once or twice a day. They, these guys were in condition and they were just stronger and just you saw the difference. So I took those two months before just to work on that, and it was just a great experience being with these guys. These guys is really good players, um, strong, and then they're the best in their conference and they're on the team. So I'm versing the best of the best. Who's your representation? Um, next, next boys. path for you, a kind of a similar means to get where you want to be? You know, I just looked at his situation from last year and said that like he was a really good player and just a really good guy. And I saw that how long he took the process and then how he made it and been successful. So just learning from that and then learning different things, just from other people, just taking feedback is just a great opportunity. What led to your decision to reclassify and go to practice school route and all that? Um, you know, I hurt my knee three three years ago, I think. So I hurt my knee three years ago, and um, just having that pain, and then just always being in an older grade, it was just wasn't for me. So I felt like reclass to get myself better, and to be with the guys that are around my age, and just try to, you know, build up with these guys, and then that's why I reclass.